Hi, my name is Kayleen Lazo, and I'm a freshman at Morristown High School. I'm part of the Humanities Academy, a class where I have gotten to learn a lot of new things about me in the past year. Being in the Humanities Academy gives you many opportunities to work on projects that you have always wanted to work on, and in the process, you reflect on how you've grown throughout the year. In the beginning of the year, I started off with a school-related project. As the year began, I spent less and less time at school. It was hard to reach out to teachers and ask for help. I would write them emails, go to office hours, or sometimes stay for a quick explanation after the class was over. But that still didn't help. I still felt as if I wasn't getting the help I needed, let alone learning. With these worries in mind, I began a project where I researched all the questions I had in mind. I didn't really know what exactly my project was going to end up looking like or what I was going to do with the information I found. Here's a document where I kept all the questions and research that I did. For example, some of the questions were, are we learning or simply good at being compliant? Are projects, homework, and quizzes important in order to succeed, or are they just numbers on a screen and or paper? What impacts one's motivation to do well in school? Um, who's in charge of one's learning in school? Do grades have to determine whether or not we get into a good college? Why do Americans value the letters on our transcripts more than the thoughts in our head? Um, do grades determine whether or not someone is smart? And what are grades really for? And are they important? What I ended up finding was that there are two theories. We either gain more knowledge the more we retain the content we're learning, or intelligence is stable our whole life. As much as I may love school, it gets boring. I didn't want to spend my whole year working on a project where I saw ahead of time wouldn't have as much progress as I hoped it would. After I found these two theories, I spent months procrastinating, trying but failing to come up with a path for this project. I realized how much time I was wasting and decided to move on. I chose something I've always wanted to do, learn how to play the guitar. More importantly, teach myself how to play the guitar. So what did I do? Having no background, having no teacher, having no idea where to start, I began. I first used YouTube videos, tutorials to learn names of the strings, where to place my fingers, but none of the videos I looked up were working. I tried following a 10-day program, but after the first day, I didn't learn anything. Um, I tried following it until the fifth day, but it didn't work. So I found myself falling into an old habit, leaving it off, not working, not pushing myself. I was procrastinating again. Then feedback night came. I was nervous to admit that I needed help. I hated the idea of asking for help especially in front of 20 or more people. I had to step out of my comfort zone if I wanted to get somewhere with my project. Most of the feedback I received was very helpful, but the one that really helped was the suggestion of choosing a song and learning to play that specific song. I honestly thought it wasn't going to work. With no experience, to jump in and start playing a song seemed difficult and wrong. Not knowing the names of strings, um, and starting to play a song or where exactly to place my fingers just all seemed wrong. But the song I ended up choosing was Lost on You by LP. Yes, I took the advice. And I ended up learning a lot in the first few weeks than I had in the months that I spent searching for programs, for videos, tutorials, um, YouTube channels. 
So, in the design thinking process. Um, I'm currently in the prototype part of the design thinking process. Um, I'm testing new ways I can improve my techniques, testing programs, um, new videos. Um, and yeah. This leads me to uh, the habits of mind. So what habits of mind did I improve on? Self-reliance. I always thought I could easily take up a challenge by myself. I, but I was wrong. <laughs> I can take on a challenge that only takes up a small amount of my time. Um, this project is taking up a lot of my time, placing my fingers on the right chords, sounding in tune, learning new notes, etc. Um, I have learned to rely on myself if I need anything. With this project, I had to learn to be extremely independent in my learning, and it was challenging. Not knowing where to start or how to start, the most difficult part, I would say, was being my own teacher. Since I was my own teacher, I really sometimes didn't have someone to, like, boss me around or push me to pick up my guitar. Patience. And patience comes with self-reliance. I have always known that I have not been the most patient person if I didn't see progress immediately, I would automatically think I was the one doing something wrong or I would end up getting frustrated or leaving it off. But I learned how to be patient, how to look for alternatives, look for new strategies, look for new ways to approach the challenge. As much as I wouldn't like to admit it, I was one to give up on things easily if I didn't reach my expectations. Persistence. Like I said, the first month working on this project, I didn't reach my expectations. I thought I wasn't going to get any progress done by Humanities Night, and I wouldn't have anything to show. My wor worry was more on having something to show than speaking about growth. What I didn't realize was I was keeping myself from learning and growing, worrying about something that was likely to happen. I started this project um, a little bit late, like around mid-third marking period. So with all the time looking for videos and ways I could start, I haven't had the time to completely finish learning my first song. It takes time and patience to learn something new. Everyone learns at their own pace. Everyone learns differently in different ways. I had to push myself many days when I didn't want to pick up my guitar and strum a few notes. I had to push myself when I couldn't get a note in tune. I had to push myself to try. Reflectiveness. So all of the things I just said, I probably wouldn't have said them a year ago. I have grown a lot this year, but there's a difference between saying you grew than being able to point out in what aspects of your life you grew in. The journal entries helped me keep track of all the new these new habits and strategies I was learning. I started off the year researching new learning styles, new ways I could learn. With the projects I'm working on now, I'm teaching myself how to do something like learning how to play the guitar. And I think overall, this is an improvement. This project overall has helped me grow in many ways, not only school-related, but also new ways to approach life problems, and will probably help me keep growing. Thank you so much.